Namaste. I'm Dr. Shweta. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist. I'm a fertility consultant as well. I practice at Janista Fertility Center and Hospital, which is located at Basveshwar Nagar in Bangalore. I'm the managing director of uh, Janista Fertility Center and Hospital. Janista. Why Janista? What does Janista mean? Janista means desire. Most of the people come here with a desire to conceive, and that is why you know, we chose the name as Janista. Now, what changes can the couple do before they visit the fertility clinic? Suppose if the wife is overweight or the husband is overweight, the overweight or the obesity does have effect on the gamete. In women, the equality comes down when the fat percentage is more and similarly in men, the semen quality, the DNA fragmentation index is also increased in obese men. So I would recommend people before visiting the clinic, I would want them to lose weight. Even if they lose about 10% of their body weight, it goes a long way. They can conceive normally if there are no other issues and it prevents them from getting into unnecessary treatment. And suppose if there are any other medical conditions like less hemoglobin, hypothyroidism or hypothyroidism or hypertension that is BP or any other abnormalities. So all these values or the system has to come back to its normal. That means you have to have a normal hemoglobin, your thyroid levels has to be in normal level and only after that when you try the success rate would be better. So certain lifestyle changes like proper diet and exercise, when they follow these things, the chances of conception is very high and then visiting the clinic and undergoing unnecessary procedures would be drastically reduced. So most important is healthy diet and exercise where half of the issues would be sorted naturally. So now what are the kind of food they're supposed to take? I would recommend whatever has been followed in your family, that means whatever your grandma is to make or your mother is to make, I would recommend you to have that. Don't follow all these uh, fat diet like um, the extreme uh, low carb diet and keto and uh, intermittent fasting and things like that. So basically they all work with less calorie intake. So even you should follow the less calorie intake with whatever your forefathers has been have, have been practicing. This is basically because you are genetically modified to consume those foods and uh, have food which are uh, rich in antioxidants like fruits and uh, vegetables and uh, not having pizzas and burgers and processed food mainly. So by doing these small changes in your life, uh, all these things might help you to conceive naturally.